Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jody Matoma. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And today I'm going to give you an update on the uh, Poshmark support issue that I've been going through recently. So I'm going to share my screen here and get right to it. So as you can see here, uh, February 14th is when the issue was initiated. Uh, what I was doing is, if you go here, this is my Poshmark US account, Posher Club. And I have 720 active listings at the, t at the moment. And then this here is my Posh, uh, Poshmark Canada account, and it's Posher Club North. And I have 168 listings active right now, but here, let's get into it. So on February 14th, I was cross-listing 140 things. I got up to 140 things on Poshmark Canada, and then I got to a Fendi glasses case, which I had to hit the certify button, so I did, because it's authentic. And once I did that, all of my listings were removed from my my brand new Poshmark Canada account and I it was basically temporary banned or something because I couldn't do anything couldn't list any new listings I couldn't follow anybody I couldn't do anything so I emailed Poshmark with their support system and then I got this uh, general reply back it's not a, this is not a human reply later that day Benedict had got back to me saying thanks for reaching out and apologies for the confusion sounds like your listings were flagged as potential replica items from, by our validation system i just want to say right now the validation system sucks um you guys need to update that this means the listing is currently in the process of being reviewed by a poshmark specialist okay currently in the process of being reviewed by a poshmark specialist okay two weeks ago all right the day uh, so now we're on uh, February 15th, the day after. As you can see up here, there's a different title to the email because I sent them another email. On the 17th, I got this email in return. We wanted to reach out to confirm that your original inquiry has, or was received and we are working on getting to it ASAP. And then over here, right here, to improve your experience even further, we're currently transitioning into a new email system. So that right there is good news for all Poshmark users because their current email system sucks. Poshmark. So whenever that's set into place, that's going to be good news, I hope. Two days later, on the 19th of February, I sent them another email. Okay, this is the automated reply I got. And keep note of my email address, jody at poshmark.club. Okay, this is the email address I used to sign up to Poshmark Canada. All right, look, down here, same thing. All right, now, now we're going to the February 20th. I sent them a, another email. Okay, I used my other email address. This is not my... Uh, Poshmark Canada email address. This is my Poshmark US account, uh, address. So do note that I used both email addresses to get in contact with them. Later on, on the 20th, I sent them another email. And as you can see, this is the J Matoma. Okay, I sent them with, I sent them, oh, I got in contact with Poshmark Canada. And then two minutes later, I got, I sent, I sent the same email over on Poshmark US support system. On the 21st, the next day, okay? Thank you for your response. We kindly ask that you please provide us with the listing ID so we can look further into this matter. All right, guys. So Mildred, I'm telling you. How am I supposed to find the listing ID when all of my listings have been removed from Poshmark Canada? All right, it's not possible. On the 24th, three days later, thank you for your email. For security reasons, we must ask that you Make this inquiry from the email address associated with your Poshmark account. Okay, if we scroll down on the 17th of February, as you can see here, Jody at Poshmark.club, I did. I did. And now we'll go back up to the 24th. Another email from Nancy this time. Thank you for your email and our sincerest apologies for this experience. Please see that we have reinstated your account. So as soon as I received this email here, 12.19 p.m., I had emailed them with the correct email address again. And then three hours later, not even, they reinstated my account. So what took 10 days for them to get my account back up? And if you look here on the 25th, Nancy again said the exact same thing, but this time to my other email address. See, Nancy, Nancy. So that was my experience with Poshmark support in early February, up until mid-February, well, late February 25th. And uh, I'm just saying I'm not pleased with the results. So, sad face. <laughs>
thanks for your feedback. Also on the 14th, on the very first day that I my account was shut down, I sent them a DM on, on uh, what is this, Twitter, and then my reply was, Hi there, our team is looking into this, please hang tight. Please. And then, uh, at the exact same time, Feb 14th, I sent them the same message on Facebook Messenger. And it took them five, four days to get me get back to me just to say, please note that our Facebook team and our support team are completely separate and that reaching out on social media will not expedite your response. Thank you for that as well. So that was my experience with Poshmark support. Um, I really do hope that things get better over the next couple of weeks and months for future users that have to deal with Poshmark's issues. Um, and yeah, that's all I got. Uh, so yeah, Posher Club is my U.S. account if you want to check it out. Posher Club North is my Canada account if you want to check that one out. And then I also have a website, posher.club, if you want to check it out. I got 50 free, uh, frequently asked questions here. I've had this up for about a year or two now. And uh, I'm going to be adding more. So that's going to be probably 75 or so in the coming days. And so it's organized for buyers, for sellers, and for just general facts. And so you just click on these and they open and close and... I wrote all these out myself. A lot of research. So if you're inter interested in that, a lot of information to be had there. And then real quick, I just want to say thank you to all 921 of my subs. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers now, which is really awesome for me. Like I'm very happy about this because I've been at I've been at YouTube. I've been making content on YouTube now since October 2018. If you look up here. And so it's been a long process to try and get a thousand subs. Um, even though that's not the main goal here, but it's going to be, it's really exciting to hit a thousand, as everybody knows. And so, and if you scroll down here, you can see Can Canadian Resellers Roundtable. I would really appreciate if you guys took a look at these because these are a lot of fun. And so these happen once a week, if you just look right here. With me, Chris, and Cliff. And we all live in uh, Canada. Um, Cliff and I are in, in Alberta, and then and then uh, Chris Thrift BCQ is in uh, Toronto, Ontario. And so the three of us have a once a week roundtable, usually about an hour and forty five minutes long. But our last one was three hours long, and that was yesterday. And uh, we had a guest, a special guest, Kevin, at the thrifting lounge, and it was awesome. Um, if you want to learn how to get into the nitty-gritty details about how to grow your YouTube channel quicker. We got into that for a couple hours as well, so if you want to check that out, there's a lot to learn there. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I think that's going to be it. So thank you very much for hanging out, and uh, Poshmark, if you're listening, please, please do better. So, but, and I hope you guys are having great sales on Poshmark. Um, my sales have been absolutely atrocious lately. Um, exactly a year ago, at this exact same time, I was getting about 10 to 15 sales every single day. Um, I looked through my Instagram a few days ago, and I was like, I was blown away by how many sales I was having a year ago versus how many sales I'm having today. Um, today, I'm getting about zero to one sales per day. Uh, most days are zero, even though I'm sharing my closet three times a day. So, but. I'm going to have to uh, start cross-posting to different platforms and uh, once I'm done cross-listing to Poshmark Canada. Already I've had two sales on Poshmark Canada which is uh, pretty good considering there's only there's less than 200 listings up and it's it's only been active for like maybe a week or two at most. So I don't know. Anyways guys, that's enough time. That's enough of your time I've taken. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all of you and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Take care.